Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kelly. Hi if you're new. I am going to be sharing with you guys my September favorites today. I'm so excited. September is probably my favorite month. I might be a little biased just because my birthday is in September. I did just turn 20 on the 10th and it was just so much fun and I have a lot of new favorites to show you and some of it is from last year. It's just like it's fun because it's a new season, you know, so you kind of get re-exposed to all the things that you love about fall all over again. I love every change of the season. I just think it's so much fun. Get ready for the next season and I just love it. So I thought it'd be fun to share with you guys my favorites for this month. And I always start off these videos with my top five songs from Spotify. So I'm just going to go to my Spotify. If you guys don't already follow me, it's just like Kelly Two Wise, Tomlinson. I'll have it listed down below as always. I make monthly playlists and I have like a current favorites playlist. I update all the time. So my top favorite right now... <laughs> this is so weird i have been going through a justin bieber phase i like justin bieber when he first started i just you know like you go through little phases where you're like obsessed with him and then not but i just recently found the song home to mama and it's with him and cody simpson and honestly i don't really know who cody simpson is but <laughs> the song is so good it's not rap or anything it's just like a chill song and it makes me so happy i just love the lyrics and everything so that song's really good and then the next song that i really like is sweatpants and I love Childish Gambino. I just like all his music. It's been my jam. Like when I drive to the gym, when I'm working out, I'll listen to the song. It just makes me so happy whenever I listen to it. My next favorite, oh my gosh, this song is amazing. I don't know how I found it because I was going through like playlists to add to my playlist and I found it and it is called Feel It Still. So good i don't know what it is about it it's not like my type of music that i usually listen to and i can't stop listening to it i probably listen to it over 50 times this month i'm just completely obsessed with it it's so good it's so catchy i you need to listen to it i'll have it listed down below by itself so you guys can check it out as well and then my next favorite song for this month is unforgettable by thomas rett I always like him and I just figured out he like released a new album. I could be really late on this, I'm not sure. But his album's really good, but this song stood out to me the most and I really like it. I like his music, I think his voice is really cool. It's just like different, but I like it, you know? It's like one of those like really pretty voices that you're just like, I could listen to this all day. <laughs> and then my last favorite song for this month is Humble by Kendrick Lamar. And this has been in one of my favorites before, but like, you know when you hear a song and it just brings back those memories and you're like, this is a good song. That is that song for me at the moment. I just really like it. It has good memories with it, and I think it's a fun song. And so those are my five favorite songs for this month. I have, like, so many more songs that I'd love to share with you guys, but I always share just five. So if you want to see more of my music that I have been listening to, check out my Spotify. Then I'm going to share with you guys my favorite movies and TV shows. And I have, oh, I'm not going to lie, watched a lot of TV this month. So I went to go see that movie that Harry Styles is in. I'll have the artwork over here. I think it's called Dunkirk. And it's, like, a war movie, but I... I'm just gonna be honest I watched it because Harry Styles was in it and it was so good I mean Harry Styles oh my goodness anything he does I'm just gonna be like yes go Harry but it was so good it was a good movie it was a little slow and a little long but Harry made it like enjoyable <laughs> so I recently discovered Riverdale on Netflix I watched the whole like season that's on there in like three days it just proves that I'm like really addicted because sometimes I can drag out a tv series like I still haven't finished Gilmore Girls or One Tree Hill and I've been watching that for like over a year. This one got me hooked. I was like, I have to finish it. It's so good. And I'm waiting for season two. I think it comes out in October on actual TV where you have to like wait each episode, but I'm so excited. It's so good. So you guys need to check out that show as well. And then I also watched the movie Beautiful Creatures on Netflix. It was like a two hour movie, really long. It's kind of under the category of thriller. So like the whole time I was like, oh, this is spooky. I do not like horror movies, they freak me out. But this one wasn't like horror. It was kind of like a romance, but it was like a thriller because it's like sci-fi, I guess. I, I don't really know, but it was good. If you like those kind of movies, definitely check it out. And then for clothing this month, I have, I did get all my fall clothes out, which I love. I always store my fall and winter clothes away during spring and summer and vice versa. So I pulled them all out. And I'm going to start off with these chino shorts from J. Crew, And I actually wore these all summer long. But they're just kind of like a nice fall color. So they're just like hunter green color. And they're just normal chinos. Which is so nice because I love fall clothing and like the fall colors. I'm just so excited for the next season all the time. But it's hard because the weather, it's like that awkward time of the year where it's not quite fall yet. But it's not really 100% summer. So it's like still warm but it's cold in the morning. And you want to wear fall clothes but it's too hot. So these are awesome because it has that fall color. And they go with all your fall sweaters and everything. But it's still short so you can wear them. 
and not slept to them, which I have been enjoying this. <laughs> and then I also have been loving this cardigan sweater. I'm kind of addicted to cardigans at the moment. I just think they're such a fun look and I never really got into them before, but I really like them and I have quite a few of them. So this is from J. Crew. You might have seen it in my outfit of the week video which I'll have up here so you guys can go check it out. But it's this really warm cardigan from J. Crew. It's like I don't know what the material is. Like some wool. It's like a wool sweater, so it's really warm. So I mean it kind of gets a little hot. But it's so pretty. It's just this really fun gray color. It has really cute like stitching on the sleeves and it has this really chunky neck, which I love. I just think it's such like a fun preppy item. And I love it. I like buttoning it up with like a polo underneath. I just think it's such a classic look. And then I also have been loving these jeans, and they're just normal skinny jeans, but I always buy new jeans every uh, winter just because they fit differently, they stretch out, You can't, your body changes and everything, at least mine does. And so I went to Abercrombie and Finch to get skinny jeans. I usually buy all my jeans from American Eagle, and I was like, you know what, I just want to spice it up and try something new. Oh my gosh, I'm like... I told my mom, like, why didn't I do this sooner? These are amazing. They're so comfy. I got the high-rise super skinny jeans, and I just think they're so flattering, and they're just so comfortable, and I love wearing jeans, but sometimes jeans will be really uncomfortable, and these literally feel like I'm wearing leggings, but they look as great as normal jeans do. So I highly recommend these. They're so comfortable. Probably my new go-to pants all the time. And then, if you guys have been following me for a while, especially on Snapchat and I guess you guys, if you watch my Fitness Friday videos, know that I work out a ton and I have two fitness things that I kind of want to show you, but they're clothing. Don't worry. If you don't work out, you can still wear them. I got these running shoes from Nike and these are just the Nike free runs and they're black and they have the white bottom and I just think they're so cute. They're perfect for like errand running where you just wear like a casual outfit, but they're also so comfortable to go running in. So if you are a runner, I definitely recommend these shoes. They're really cushiony and they just are great for running and they have awesome support in them. And then I got this Nike tank top and it's fluorescent green, yellow, whatever you want to call it, like neon. And it's so obnoxious, but it's so much fun to wear. And it is one of those like more tight fitted shirts. And at first I was kind of like, I don't really want to wear that. I'm more of like the looser fitting gym shirts, but recently I kind of got into the tighter ones and I really like this. I really want to get it in black as well. It's just so comfortable. It's great for running because it's like cool and it keeps you not like super hot or anything. So I really like this. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. And then the last like clothing piece that I want to talk about are my new loafers. And I mentioned how I got those jeans that I just showed you guys at Abercrombie and I was looking on their website before I went to the mall to buy them and I noticed they had a really cute shoe selection. If you guys haven't checked out their store for a while, definitely check it out. It's so classic looking and it's very neutral which I really like the look of what they have on there. And I noticed they had these shoes on here and I was like, okay. It's a little bit of a splurge but they're so cute. So they're these like burgundy loafers and they're just so cute. I love penny loafers. I wear them all the time but mine are like the tan color so I thought this would be fun for fall because they're like a dark leather. And they were kind of expensive, but definitely worth it. I've only worn them a few times because I just recently got them. And I'm not going to lie, my ankles are really cut up because I wore them to a little party today and my feet hurt so bad. But so comfortable leather shoes. Once you break them in, they become the most comfortable pairs of shoes. They're just really hard to break in at first. So don't lose hope if you did get a pair of shoes like this. But I just think they're so cute and I'm super excited to be styling these this fall because I think it's going to be so much fun and such a classic look. And then... I'm going to share with you guys my beauty things that I have been loving. So I use self-tanner all the time and I thought it'd be fun to try a new one. And I have been using the St. Tropez tanner occasionally, but I just got the classic one. And every time I use it, I was like, this is just not enough color. And I'd go back to the Jurgens one. So I found that they have a St. Tropez tanner in the shade Dark. And I'm not going to lie, when I put this on the first time, I was like, oh my god, I'm so going to regret this at work tomorrow. I look so dark. But then once you wake up, and like, because I do it overnight, it wasn't that bad. It was a really nice skin tone. I have it on. I put it on like two or three days ago. It lasts 10 days. <laughs> like, I've noticed it lasts a lot longer than Jergens Self Tanner, which is so awesome. It is a little pricey, but you can get it at Ulta for about 50 bucks. And I really like it. It smells good. I think it goes on really smooth and everything. So I really like this, and I have been wearing this if you guys are wondering what's self-tanner I have been using and then for nail polish 
I love fall colors. So right now I currently have this color on. It is Ezzy Petal Pushers. And I get tons of questions on my Instagram what color I'm wearing. And I really like this. It's such a pretty color because it's such a neutral. And it just goes with everything. And it's like fall because it's like a darker color. And then I also have been loving my Benefit High Beam. And I just have the little miniature version. I need to go and get the like full size. But I love highlight on my face. I just think it's a fun glowy look. And I really enjoy it. But then... Also, I have been curling my hair because I got a haircut. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my haircut vlog, you guys should definitely check it out. I have been loving my haircut. It's so much fun. I haven't had short hair for like, I want to say maybe five years or so, maybe longer. Because I remember I cut my hair once when I was in like junior high and I regretted it so much. Because you know like junior high, you're just in that awkward phase where you don't really, at least I was in that awkward phase. I don't know about everyone now but I did not know how to use like hair tools and everything so it was just a hot mess and I was like I'm never cutting my hair short again but now I'm like obsessed with it but since my hair is so short it can finally hold the curl again because it doesn't weigh as much as it did so I have been loving my Numi curling wand and this is I think just the one inch wand and I really like it and it's so awesome it just works great and that's how I get my curls right now I had these curls in since the beginning of the day and it's kind of late right now so they don't look as curly as they once did but it's amazing curling wand and I love it and then the last like few things I want to share with you guys are kind of my random favorites that I have been enjoying this month so first off is my haircut as I mentioned before I just got it cut and I'm like just so obsessed with it I think it's so much fun and there's so many short hairstyles that I want to try and if I like them I'll be sure to share them with you guys as well but then also, as I mentioned before, I've been working out a ton and a good workout snack like before I work out is definitely one of my favorites is half a banana with a tablespoon of peanut butter. At first I was like, that's such a weird combination, but it has like the carbs of the banana and then the peanut butter has protein and it's just great for a pre-run snack and I love it. That's like my go-to. And then I also have been obsessed with my fall playlist on Spotify and I mentioned this in my last video but I just love the fall vibes. I'm so excited for fall. If you guys haven't noticed I'm just like pumped. <laughs> I also have been like crazy obsessed with this pink blanket and I think I featured this in a haul once. My aunt got it for me when I got my wisdom teeth pulled but it's so snuggly and it's kind of like that weird weather where it gets really chilly at night and then it's like hot during the day and then it gets cold again but I love this and I just have it in my chair when I'm at my desk and it's just so soft and then I always end off these videos with my favorite quote for the month and my favorite quote for this month is stop being afraid of what could go wrong and start getting excited about what could go right and I just love that quote I think it's so motivating it's so true and it's really helped me pull through this month I guess but I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching you guys are awesome and I'll see you guys very soon with the next video bye guys